Hrvatski islam, učesnike ratova u Vijetnamu, Libanu, Afganistanu te Bosni i Hercegovini. Amerikanci su ga svojevremeno grozničevo tražili, uvjereni da priprema atentat na Bila Clintona tokom posjeti našoj zemlji. Nedavno je o njemu snimljen film koji je na američkim festivalima već osvojio nekoliko nagrada. Samo za naš magazin govori o nekim dijelovima svog života. Nadina Malčbegović. My name is Ais Abdullah Ali and I'm also known as Clevin Rafael Holt. I would call myself a professional soldier of Islam. Now as far as them saying that in the past I would all of these labels, terrorists, whatever that they want to call me. Uh, I guess in, in some cases in the media, I would be considered a terrorist based on my history working with those who were being oppressed in Lebanon at that time. Zvali su ga terorist, islamski džihadist, špijun cije, plaćenik. A on je kaže, bio samo profesionalni ratnik islama. Or some would say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadur Rasulullah. Okay? Ratnik čiji su ratovi počinjali u Vijetnamu, Libanonu i Afganistanu, završili u Bosni i Hercegovini. First of all, I paid my own way here. Um, secondly, what prompted me to come here was the fact that I had seen on television in Washington DC a live interview with uh Karadzic. And Karadzic had made the statement saying that he was doing Europe a favor by ridding Europe of this Islamic presence here in this land. And it's like I've said, even in the documentary film, I'm sitting in Washington, D.C., and I'm living a pretty comfortable existence. I had a job at Howard University. I had everything I needed. But then what he was saying, it's sort of like, it's like a slap in my face. U Bosnu i Hercegovinu Is Abdullah Ali došao je sredinom 1995. godine uz pomoć tadašnjeg vojnog atašea za Bosnu i Hercegovinu Selme Cikotića. I had told Selme Cikotić that in the media in the United States they have called me a terrorist on many occasions and even there was misinformation coming out of the Pentagon saying that I was near the Marine barracks in Beirut in 1983, 30 minutes before the barracks was blown up. I was in Washington DC because in January I had got out of this prison situation in Lebanon, winded up in the Bolnica behind torture and all this other stuff, and then by February of 84 I'm back in Liban. But in that period that they had killed all those Marines there, I was in the United States and even the FBI could prove that. American Minister of Defense William Perry confirmed that the Holt was located on the territory of the former Vlada Sjedinjenih američkih država sumnjiči Holta zbog terorističkih aktivnosti, rekao je ministar Peri, dodajući da je njegovo prisustvo u Bosni i Hercegovini veoma ozbiljan problem i da su zbog toga američke trupe u stanju povećanog opreza. Holt je tokom boravka na Srednjem istoku, boreći se na strani PLO-a, promijenio ime u Isa Abdullah Ali. Vlada Sjedinjenih američkih država traži Holta kako bi mogla provesti istragu o njegovoj terorističkoj aktivnosti. Prvi put smo čuli 1996. negdje januar, februar. Ja mislim da je tako bilo na televiziji. Tad ja mislim da je to tad bilo bosanska televizija. A, na televiziji da, da je tražen od strane Sjedinjenih država i da William Perry je izjavio da je terorista, da ima plan da u, podigne u vazduh neku bazu, da je viđen u Tuzlu. Ni momenta nisam sumrela u, u svog muža da je to, kako bi ga nazvio tada uh, William Perry i kako bi ga Sjedinije države proglašavale. Jer sam negdje u, u, u duš svoje osjetla da on nije ta osoba, da nije ta osoba da bi očeo samo podigao u vazduh neku zgradu sa, sa ljudima, sa djecom, sa ženama. Jednostavno, Osjećala sam, imala sam u srcu stvarno da je, da, da je on do, dobar čovjek. Kada su javna vijesma, to je, to je tada je već bilo ono stresno. Ono. I za porodicu i za ono, samim tim bio je u, skoro u godinu dana kao kućni pritvor, nije ti odlaz šta, šta, kako. Ono. Bilo ono, u to vrijeme kad su javili, tada je već bilo puno sumnji. When I had gone back to the United States, uh, I believe that was in 1999, uh, I had spoken with my brother in Washington, D.C. 
And he had told me, he said, yeah, man, he said the FBI had come by my office and they had asked uh, a question that Bill Clinton wanted to know. And I said, what was that? And he said he wanted to know that him coming here to Bosnia in that year, 97 it was, 96, uh, he wanted to know if my brother, if I would be angry or want to, you know, kill him. Koliko god su bila uzaludna nastojanja američkih vlasti da mu dokažu najstravičnije zločine, jednako toliko uzaludne su bile namjere vlasti u Bosni i Hercegovini da ga bilo kao muđahedina, bilo kao američkog špijuna protjeraju iz zemlje. Navodno je najviše na tom insistirao tadašnji ministar unutrašnjih poslova Zeničko Dobojskog kantona Šemsudin Mehmedović. On mi je čisto ovako rekao kao Jednostavno nije me briga ni za tobom, ni za tvojim djetetom. Čak je im je naredba iz Zencije došla ovdje u sudu, u travniku, da se mora protjerati. Tad smo se mi obratili jednom sudi. Ošli smo sa njim i sudija je rekao, ja jednostavno nemam razlog čovjeka. Nemam ništa konkretno da bi ja čovjeka izvacio iz ove države. Jer kada se gleda na Interpol, lokal polis, Washington DC, FBI ili nešto od tog nešto, they find that I don't even have a criminal record, which I have produced proof here in Bosnia, Herzegovina, and my going back and forth to the United States, bringing back a police clearance each time I come back, showing that there are no crimes that I have been uh, charged with. Životna priča kontraverznog Isa Abdullah Alija teška je bila i prije svih ovih ratova. Djetinstvo obilježeno rasnom diskriminacijom, uličnim nasiljem i porodičnim problemima natjerali su ga na brzo odrastanje. Tragajući za smislom, krenuo je put Bliskog istoka. 14 puta ranjavan, jedva je izbjegao smrt. And I look and I see this man is looking at me with this very bad look. And I said to him, I said, Šubek, ja zanimi. I said, like, what's up with you? You know, like, example, Why are you looking at me like that? So he said nothing, and he turned his head looking forward. So I took maybe two or three more steps, and then I hear bop, 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 bop. So I think maybe somebody just shooting down the street. And I turn around and I look, and I see this man is shooting me, and he's coming out of the car. And by that time, to, I just pulled my pistol out, and then I shot him twice. While I was laying on the ground, I mean, I'm looking at all this blood coming out of me, And then there was this face of this woman who came over me and she said, Aisa, she says, say your kalima shahada now. So I said it. Nije mrtav. Danas kada su ratovi daleko iza njega s porodicom živi u malom gradu srednje Bosne. Povremeno odlazi na rad u Ameriku kako bi prehranio porodicu. Njemu ne treba viza da ode, ali ni da se vrati. I've seen Bosna for the past 15 years poslije rat. Is Bosnia has been like someone knocking on the door to the European Union. They open the little shutter and they look out and they say, who's out there? And then they say, it's me, it's Bosnia. And then they look down and say, what do you want? They say, can I come in? And they say, uh, go away, I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Bosnia comes back some years later, knocks on the door again. They open up the shutter and says, who's out there? And they look down, oh, it's you again. What do you want? You said you would think about it. They said, okay, yeah, I'm thinking about it, but right now, people from inside of my house, they got a problem down the street in these neighborhoods called Iraq, Afghanistan, and we need you to go down there and uh, help my people out, and I'll think about letting you in, okay? So Boston has gone down the street, and then they come back knocking on the door and say, hey, you know, and they, and they open up and say, oh, it's you, yeah. They said, uh, I, I went down the street and I'm in Afghanistan with your people, you know, can you let me in? And he said, go away, I'm still thinking about it. So it's sort of like, you know, you got a dog and you got a piece of meat and the dog is hungry for that meat and then you let the dog get just a little piece in the teeth and he tastes the taste of the meat and he's like jumping and jumping and this man is holding that meat and watching you jump, jump, jump and you just never get a mouthful. Dok Bosna i Hercegovina traži svoj dio Evrope i sa Abdullah Ali u dvorištu svoje kuće pronalazi svoj mir. What is this? I mean, he's one of God's creation. I don't want him to be hurt or scared. It's like how you treat him is like how you're going to treat somebody else. Yani yani ne znam, ne znam kako 
Ja. Da. Ej, jo, je zajedan. Hajde, pomozi me. I find it a place that's more suitable for me than living in the United States. It's because here I don't have to think on a daily basis who am I going to have to kill. Just to go to work and then from work to go home. O ubijanju i ratovima američki džihadist je govorio u dokumentarnom filmu Marka Klevela. O onim ljepšim stvarima će u knjizi koju trenutno priprema. No neke stvari, kaže, jednostavno se ne mogu opisati. Ljubi me. Ljubi, ljubi, ljubi. Hajde, go.